Hello, everybody, and welcome to Athletic Definition. My name is Coach Ray Z, and thank you, Lily, for joining me in the audience and everyone in the simulcast and in the broadcast. This is uh, the Merry Fitness Extravaganza, day 30 out of 31. Uh, it's such a beautiful day here in Southern California. I'm like, I'm going to try and see how my uh, lighting ability has gotten because I have a really bright background, a bunch of lights, so I don't think it's really too blown out. So thank you for joining me. I got a little busy during December and I didn't get to fulfill my commitment of 31 episodes. So this is episode 31. And uh, before I get started, uh, you know, in podcasting, I'm, I'm still relatively new, uh, but I see growth every day. And I, I wanted to thank uh, the new, uh, which is uh, Louisiana. And then I also have three new countries. Uh, one is Vietnam. So thank you. Thailand. And the last one is Jersey. And I actually had to look up Jersey because I never heard of it. Jersey is an island in between France and the UK. So thank you for listening. I hope you keep uh, tuning in and let your friends know about it. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about uh, tracking workouts uh, because a lot of us are really super busy and uh, maybe you could uh, need some different ideas to be able to be more accountable for your health and fitness uh, in 2022. So uh, I, I started doing this series last year, and uh, I actually did a show on tracking. Uh, you can go on YouTube at Coach Ray, and you'll, you'll see it. Um, and basically, uh, I like uh, myself personally, I have a, a white uh, erasable uh, whiteboard. I have it as a calendar, and then it's big enough where on the side you can write notes. So there's something about, you know, writing it down that makes a difference and looking at it every day because I have it in my room. So then I'm like, ah, I just can't help but to even look at it. Like when I'm trying to relax, I'm like, oh, I did a good job this week or I slacked. Um, some people, they have magnets, so you can also put it in your refrigerator. You can, you know, not just use it for tracking your workout, but, you know, meals, maybe you could just... And it could be something really easy as maybe like a red mark means, you know, you didn't grab no soda that day or a green mark means a beer or uh, you go back to uh, episode 29. I also mentioned about cleaning out your pantry for 2022, having healthier foods, uh, but tracking it always helps. The other option is uh, that you can use our calendars, the old fashioned calendar. You can write it down that way. Uh, some people really like to do it on their phones and, you know, we're, we're pretty much living in a hybrid society now where you're going to be using apps and probably working out at the gym at the same time. And so it's not just going to be one way anymore. Uh, me personally, I've been using apps uh, and I'm going to be talking more in depth than reviewing them because, you know, you stick to what you like. But uh, as far as running, uh, it's called Map My Run. And it, it uh, used to be, I can't remember who was the, the maker of it, but uh, Under Armour bought it a few years ago and they've uh, invested a lot of money into it. So it's got really, uh, really good features overall. It's, I mean, the free features are good enough for me. Um, they also have another version called uh, Map My Fitness, uh, which is more like general workouts. It's a lot of these, you can even track your water, your water intake. Um, Strava is another big one for runners. Uh, they, a, there's a lot of community on there as well. Um, and uh, let's see, I actually have a list. I went to Forbes Health, uh, Forbes.com, and these are the apps that, you know, they made their list. Um, so these, I've never heard of this one, but it's called the Free free Letits. And uh, I need to, these are apps that I'm going to be reviewing and let you know what I think. But if you, it has really high rating. They also have Map My Run, which is the one that I use. They have Strava. Almost everyone I know uses Strava except for me. I never heard of this one. It's called the JE Fit. Um, looks like it's free, and their packages range from six ninety nine to forty dollars a year. There's Open Fit, which it says it's uh, best for beginners. I haven't tried this one. I actually never heard of this one. But this one, there's a cost automatically. It's a uh, thirty-eight ninety-nine for three months. Uh, so it looks like they have a a three-month deal, a six-month deal, and a one-year deal. And I will see if I could find someone to 
who's used it who could give me feedback on that one because I'm not looking to pay uh, for that app. Uh, not that I don't believe in paying for apps. I, it's just I, I'm i certified in too many things and it just wouldn't make sense. I, I pay for my own coaching already with you know my coaches, my mentors. Um, then there's this one, Seven, which I haven't heard about. It says it's like for quick workouts and uh, the basic is free and then it ranges. Uh, then there's Peloton. And I, I talked a little bit about Peloton. That's twelve ninety nine a month, plus the bike is a thousand five hundred. Um, so that's something that, if you want to invest that much into it, the other one is called. Looks like an oh, it, it is an eight eight fit. I've never heard of this one. There's a basic plan, twenty five dollars the next one, and then sixty for six months, eighty for a year. There is the Nike Training Club. That one's free. I used it. That app, I could say, from what I know, uh, it has come a long way. It, the map features kind of weren't that good. But overall, it's done major improvements. A lot of people are using it more now. Um, and then there's Allo Moves. And that one says it's like a best fitness app for yoga. That one starts off with uh, $20 a month. So that that's kind of expensive. And then the last one, I think it's the owner of Lululemon. They bought Mirror. So Mirror ranges from, I think, $1,200 to $2,000 or more. And I don't know if that includes the subscription or not, uh, but they do have a lot of uh, – I know they charge more for an additional personal trainer, but that's something that you could look into. And uh, they, they sell heart rate monitors that uh, connect to most of these apps. So if you if you don't you know really want to track – or feel like writing things down. Also, you know, the watches now, they've come a long way. Um, we'll take your heart rate and then you can just kind of download it. And I still, you know, I know a lot of people aren't into it and see what's the point, but you want to see if you're like uh, making progress or uh, at least maintaining and that you're not seeing any sort of regression on anything uh, because it's basically your health. So those are hopefully some ideas that, that'll help you, uh, for 2022 and uh i didn't really show the outfit of the day so for the last what 30 days i've been showing a different outfit every day this one since it's almost the end of the year it's kind of more low low key it just has like kind of looked like the shirt yesterday but not really this one has like a snowman christmas trees and i think that's mistletoe i could be wrong and of course i know i know why everybody's here you guys want to hear the the Christmas puns of, of the day. <laughs> so um, Santa, Santa uh, told me that, you know, he, he wants to work out and we've been going back and forth and he tells me in my local gym, it, it's, it's really affordable. I'm like, he, I'm like, okay, so how much do you pay? And he, he told me that he pays $120 for the year. And really, you know, me working like at four different gyms, that is a good deal. But if you only visit it, Twice, that's sixty dollars per visit. That's not a good deal. All right, and then I told, <laughs> I also told Santa, when you go there, you, you got to take this more seriously. You can't just be monkeying around, because if all you're doing is monkeying around, people are gonna think that you're a Jim Pan Z. And yeah, they don't get any better. But luckily, we're coming to the end of the Merry Fitness Extravaganza. I was going to do episode 31, but I decided that I, I'm going to stick with my original idea. That's going to go into the Lost Vault episode and will be released at a later time, possibly Christmas in July. There's rumors about that. So we'll see what we can do with that. I'm looking forward to uh, the new year and bringing all new content, uh, all new guests, and hopefully some past guests as well. At the time, uh, I'm trying to invite all the ones that I had on when we didn't have the video option. So that would be very cool. And uh, I'm going to be kicking it off this uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific time zone. And I'm going to be getting more in depth into what the fitness trends and workout equipment are for 2022. Uh, what are the latest gadgets and a little bit of everything. And hopefully that'll uh, inspire you, motivate you to keep working out and I wanted to not just thank those new countries listening in, but the support I'm getting. I'm, I'm almost at all 50 states, and I believe I'm like in 24 countries. So thank everybody much. Uh, 
You can find me at Coach Ray on all my social media platforms. Athletic Definition is everywhere on all podcast platforms, Amazon, uh, YouTube, whatever, uh, you name it, you can find me. I hope I brought a little holiday cheer uh, this this year for you and made it not so uh, so uh, down. I know a lot of people have it tough. And so uh, that's pretty much my whole goal. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back uh, this week with regular athletic definition. And who knows? Like I said, maybe Christmas in July. Thank you, everybody, for joining in the simulcast, in the audience, Lily, Jason, and, of course, the robot. Always have, has your back here on Fireside. So thank you, everybody. Until next time, this is Coach Ray Z. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy New Year.